You can see the AUKAD products are fully integrated and communicate with each other. You can select a component in the schematic and have it immediately on your cursor to be placed in the PCB. This also allows you to lasso a set of parts in the schematic and have them on your cursor ready to place in alphabetical order. This can also work with the highlight function. Another example of the integration is the ability to view a 3D representation of the PCB footprint in the schematic capture design. This is interactive, so selecting pins also select it in the footprint view. Joining nets from distant components in a schematic can be tedious, so Capture now allows a very handy function called Auto Wire. Single nets can be point clicked to wire them, also lassoed selections can be sent to a bus, along with multiple buses sent to a net group and an off-page connector. The CIS option allows users to place parts from an engineer's database, corporate MRP or PLM. Various different departments will have relevant information such as lead times, price, alternative supplier or manufacturers. All this info can be exported in the BOM and there is a traffic light system that ensures all parts are approved and match the database. You can also place parts from activeparts.com where there are over 2 million components available ready to place in your schematic. CIPE allows you to access online parametric data and stores that information in your engineering database with a live refresh link to always stay updated with relevant lead times and costs from DigiKey, Farnell, Future, Newark. Coloring Components allows you to communicate the various stages of the project with your colleagues. For example, we have coloured these components as yellow to denote a work in progress. Another way of communicating your design intent without giving away valuable IP is to use the intelligent PDF output. This is currently available as a free app on the Capture Marketplace. There's lots more to choose from. The PDF understands the hierarchies and makes searching for nets and components a very easy exercise. Capture CIS allows you to use a global parent schematic and derive as many variants as you wish. This means that global changes will automatically update the variants and different printouts can be made at the click of a button for each variant. Another example of the tight integration between AUKAD tools is PSPICE. Simply place your nodes on the schematic and run the simulation. Viewing the results is quick and simple. There are hundreds of PSPICE models available for free download right now on the AUKAD Capture Marketplace. A global transparency setting lets you see through the board. You can use the dynamic shapes feature and plow straight through planes and have it heal behind you. Moving a part of a track offers the same benefits of dynamic healing. Being able to quickly switch to a flipped view can be done at any time at the click of a button. Snake routing for those complex hex pattern chips. It is often the case that you will have different rules for different parts of the board. Regions can be drawn on the board and you can see that when we route through into this tight area the tracks start to obey the region's rules. Group routing is key to cutting down design time and you can save even more time by taking advantage of the finish function. Differential pairs are more and more common, so having the ability to specify pairs and route them together is very useful. The delay tuning comes in many forms, trombone, sawtooth, full arcs, to give you complete control over the pair. You can use the centralised constraint manager to give you instant feedback on meeting your constraints.
Having the ability to nudge other tracks out of the way when routing increases productivity. Simply thread the track through the middle or set it to hug the tracks already routed. You can fix tracks that have been critically routed. This would avoid nudging any tracks that took a lot of time or thought to get right. We all know that things change during the course of the project. There's no need to keep re-dimensioning on each change as the intelligent dimensions recalculate in real time with any new changes. Dual measurements are also important to see simultaneously. You have the ability to quickly place shielding via arrays. There are several options and all are quickly realized with a few clicks. The tools will put in as many as possible, DRC, and then remove the errors automatically. How many times have you needed to reuse part of a previous PCB design or project only to find yourself rerouting from scratch? The PCB editor allows you to save blocks of components, routes, and vias to be used again in future designs. You have the ability to lasso a section of the board and view a 3D representation. This is very handy for getting up close to the design stack up. As boards get smaller, the need for blind and buried vias are on the permanent increase. The relevant pop-up window helps you select the correct layer and the 3D representation assists in understanding the via placement. The stack up editor is a fast way of understanding the layers and communicating to manufacturers. The centralized constraint manager is the cornerstone of the Cadence software. It works like an Excel spreadsheet and this is where all the rules for your design will go. The rules can also be exported to be used on future designs, saving an incredible amount of effort. PCB Router uses the Spectra engine and can either be run in the background as an integrated part of PCB Editor, or it can be run in standalone mode. The Cadence Signal Integrity tools range in complexity with the different levels. The entry point allows you to run pre-route analysis, post-route analysis, and has a topology extraction. There are lots of outputs for manufacturing, including Gerber, NC drill files, ODB++, DXF, IDF, Cadence Orcad products now offer you the best price and performance combination on the market.